Well, today's topic, I want to talk about what an expat is, what a refugee is, and what a patriot is. Ah, take a look at that sunrise out there. It's going to be another beautiful day here in lovely Bye Bye City Leyte. You could see it coming. Dogs are barking, crows are crowing, sounds of the province are all around us. The special courier came here yesterday and dropped off Man Minis brand spanking new dual citizen passport. I'm so excited. Of course, as many of you have probably heard by now, President Marcos has signed into law that uh, you can now apply for a passport online through the computer. No more waiting in line down at the passport office. You could take care of the application right there online from the comfort of your own home. And uh, quite possibly you can go to outsource it also. So it's going to be something pretty new and exciting here in the Philippines. I guess they're trying to eliminate lines and trying to smooth over the application process, make it a little bit easier. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't even think that you can do it online in the United States. I think you still have to go to the post office. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you can renew your passport online. But if you're filing for an initial passport, you have to go down to the post office and you have to talk to a passport examiner. That's how they do it in the United States. I was actually quite surprised that Minnie got her passport so quickly because it's only been a couple of weeks since we've been in Taco Bon. Well, today's topic, I want to talk about what an expat is and what a refugee is and what a patriot is. Now, if you call somebody an expatriate, them are fighting words, you know, for some people. You know, because quite frankly, you have a lot of veterans that live around these parts. It's career veterans that served in the U.S. military. They're proud to be Americans. As a matter of fact, you have a lot of proud foreigners up here in this area. And so... I just noticed that in conversation with them, this, this doesn't come up very often. You know, or if it does, people are usually joking. <laughs> Somebody called me an expat the other day. So anyway, let's find out. I got it here on my phone. What, what's the difference? What does it mean to become an expatriate? An expatriate or expat is somebody who leaves their country of origin and settles abroad for an extended period of time. Often permanently. This comes from Investopedia. That sounds right. I mean, you don't necessarily leave your country to, to live permanently uh, in another country, but you do leave for a period, I guess, of six months or greater, if that's considered to be an extended period of time. Americans living overseas still have to file U.S. tax returns. We're always talking about having to file taxes. As a matter of fact, I'm just completing mine up in the office there. I'm going to have to finish it up today. Am I boring you yet? Let it go! All right, let's talk about refugee. A refugee was a person or is a person who is forced to leave their country due to natural disasters or war and conflict. Beware of the military industrial complex and the wars that are started that will never end. Owning to a well founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, or nationality. Wow, we don't have any of that in the United States. <laughs> Do we? Oh no! Oh no! Generally speaking, people put up with the crap in the United States. They don't flee for foreign lands, right? A refugee is a person who has to leave. They have to go. It is no longer a safe place to stay. There might be a natural disaster, such as flood, famine, or war, civil unrest. There might be persecutions going on, or the person's unable to sustain themselves or herself economically. Hmm, there's a thought. But don't a lot of expats leave their country because they're not able to sustain themselves economically? Would that make you both 
an expat, and a refugee? Hey, that's an interesting question. Uh, could you be both an expat and a refugee at the same time? You learn something new every time you come to Dan's channel. Other reasons. The person might have been expelled from the country. They're undesirable. But I don't know how you expel somebody who is a natural born citizen of the, of the country. You, get out of here. I know people who have been expelled because they're naturalized citizen and they lied on their original application and so they were expelled from the country. All I'm doing here is trying to give you an idea of the similarities and the differences in uh, those definitions. They're interesting to me. What's patriotism? Patriotism means loyalty of a person to his or her own nation or the leaders of a nation. A patriot is a person who is on the side of his or her own nation or leaders. We have a lot of Americans, particularly here in Bye Bye City Leyte, who are who I would consider patriots. They have a love of their country. And so can you be a patriot and leave your country due to economic need? So most of the people here they love the countries that they come from. America, Norway, Greece, Switzerland, they come from all over the world and transplant themselves here to the Philippines for a lot of different reasons. But I doubt that one of them is because they are no longer patriotic, that they no longer have a love for their country. Now I know a lot of people talk about missing their families. The main reason they come here is economic. Is this the reason why Minnie and I are here? What kind of bread is that, uh, ma'am Minnie? Premium, what kind of bread? Premium whole wheat. Premium white whole bread. wheat. And what's and the other one's white premium bread, or what's the other one? White bread. Premium white, white bread white. and whole wheat. Mm -hmm. We're good to go. We are going to have to wait for the next video in order to get the answer to that. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. It's going to be a lovely day here in the Philippines. It's starting to shape up right now. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and my content. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. 2,000 years later. A few moments later. <laughs>